Good morning, Neil Sedaka here. I want to dedicate this program to the great late Howard Greenfield. We lived in the same building in Brighton Beach, Brooklyn. And I'll never forget uh, how he was an introvert. Uh, unfortunately, he had a weight problem. And you know how nasty kids could be uh, when, they're, uh, when they're young. And um, he didn't have many friends. So I was shocked when he rang my doorbell. He was an old man of 16, I was 13. October the 11th, 1952. He came in and convinced me to write a song. We wrote a terrible song called My Life's Devotion. I called it a ruptured rumba. It was probably an old Xavier Cougat song that was in my brain from some movie. Uh, anyway, we wrote a song every day that year for the next year, every day, and the songs got better. Kids at Lincoln High School would sing some Greenfield Sadaka songs in amateur shows in the auditorium. And I had a teacher, I'll never forget, who said, you're writing songs with Howie Greenfield. He's one of my students, he's a D student. And my brother is Irving Caesar, a great writer who wrote T for Two. Remember that? And she set up a meeting with me and her brother, Irving Caesar. He was an older man, and I never wrote songs with him, but I used to do his demos of his songs. Anyway, Howie liked to polish. He loved to polish his songs, rewriting and rewriting. He had also a book. Every time he came up with a title, he wrote it in a book. He had a book of titles and he had a rhyming dictionary, which I thought was very clever. And our first songs were recorded on Atlantic Records, Jerry Wexler and Ahmed Erdogan. We were teenagers. We took a subway from Brighton Beach into 57th Street, and uh, we had some big R&B hits by Laverne Baker, Clyde McFadden, The Cookies, The Cardinals, The Clovers, and um, they made the R&B charts. And I kept asking them, you know, they took the songs. I said, why don't you record me? But they didn't like my voice. Anyway, uh, Howie and I had our first pop hit with Stupid Cupid in 1958 by the great Connie Francis. And Connie Francis used to write in a diary. And Howie got the idea from her writing in a diary to write a song called The Diary. And that was my first record on RCA Victor as a singer. And then um, there were two flops in a row after that, unfortunately. One was called I Go Ape, and I blamed Howie. I said, you and your damn monkeys. You had to write a monkey song? And, uh, and it was a very cute song, but it, it was a flop. RCA gave me another chance, so in 1959, we recorded a song called O oh Carol, and he wrote the lyric within 20 minutes and I took the paper away. I said, I love it. He said, I have to polish it. He said, you're not recording it this way. I said, yes, I am. It's very natural, it's very homespun. And at the, I'll never forget at the studio recording O'Carroll, he was hiding in the bathroom. He was so embarrassed by the lyric. And uh, I even had a recitation in the middle repeating, oh Carol, I am but a fool, darling. I love you, though you treat me cruel. He was so embarrassed. P.S. It sold five million records. Anyway, we went on from 1958 to 1963 to sell about 25 million records with me singing his great lyrics. And in 1960, I was so hot that I had a two-sided hit called, uh, one side was You Mean Everything to Me, the other was Run Samson Run. And Howie was obsessed with angels and devils and ethereal things and stairway to heavens. So between 1960 and 63, we had several top tens, including Little Devil, Stairway to Heaven. We were so hot, I said, Howie, you could write a birthday song and we'd have a top 10. And lo and behold, Happy Birthday Sweet 16 was in the top 10. We uh, looked at TV Guide, and there was an old movie called Calendar Girl. 
and he thought it would make a good song. So we sat down and we wrote Calendar Girl. P.S. In 1963, as you know, the Beatles came in, changed the face of music, and we had a lot of cover records, but my records stopped selling. We had cover records with Davy Jones and Peggy Lee, Johnny Mathis, Perry Como, and um, we were uh, very, very friendly. Uh, he had a companion for 25 years named Tori Damon, and Lieber and I and Howie and Tori would go on cruises and take trips together. We were very, very close, and um, I think his songs, he was the master of the two and a half minute song. He could tell a whole story in two and a half minutes. And he married my tune perfectly. I wrote the tune first, and then he wrote the lyric. Anyway, he had many TV theme songs that people don't know. Bewitched, Gidget, Hazel, and he had great songs with uh, Jack Keller. Uh, he had Everybody Somebody's Fool, My Heart is a Mind of Its Own, Breaking in a Brand New Broken Heart, Connie Francis. Anyway, it came a time when I wanted to end my exclusive collaboration with Howie and start writing with a guy by the name of Phil Cody. And Howie was very, very upset, very upset. He said, you know, I'm gonna go to California. Uh, and um, he said, I wanna write one more song. So we wrote a song called Our Last Song Together. And then the day before he left on the plane for California, he said, let's do one more. And we did Love Will Keep Us Together, which was very telling and very uh, true. We became and remained friends over, over the years until his untimely death in the 80s. Unfortunately, we lost Howie Greenfield of AIDS in the 80s, and two weeks later, his companion, Tori Damon, died. And his songs, his countless masterpieces, will be remembered every time I sing them, every time you hear them on the radio, and all of these neglected, I call forgotten, neglected children in my albums will always be cherished by many, many people. So I want to end with... Uh, a song I wrote with the great Howie Greenfield for Connie. Where the boys are, someone waits for me. A smiling face, a warm embrace, two arms to hold me tenderly. Days of me and you, we 
lost along the way. How could I be so blind not to see the door closing around the world I now hunger for, looking through my tears? I miss the hungry years and Howie Greenfield. I miss you, and the music world misses you. Thank you so much for your love and your marvelous art.